Yo, what is up guys, Smoothie here, bringing you a Black Ops 2 commentary, playing a bit of Kill Confirmed on Yemen, using the MP7 with Suppressor and Fast Mag, I think. Um, using the VSAT, the Warhawk, and the Swarm, final score is like 69 and 6, nothing too amazing. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to be talking about is the new community update, or the new patch for uh, Xbox 360. Uh, Treyarch says the PS3 version will be coming soon, I don't know what they're going to be fixing on that yet. So if you're a PS3 player, you're just going to have to wait, I guess. Um, but you're probably used to that when it comes to Call of Duty. Uh, so yeah, this patch fixed a lot of stuff that no one... I'm not going to say no one cared about, but there's a lot of like behind-the-curtains fixing that uh, fixed UI, uh, fixed player... Well, not fixed, but they added new additions to the player card, new features. Uh, they fixed a lot of stuff in League Play regarding rank and leaderboards and crap like that so we're not going to talk about that because there is a lot of stuff they actually managed to fix um but i'm going to talk about the major well not the major things but stuff that you would normally notice in a game i'm going to be talking about it if you want to read for uh, all the other crap that i didn't talk about the link will be in the description for the full uh full rundown of the update so let's talk about the uh noticeable things uh okay stocks on smgs no longer allow a player to move faster while ads than when moving normally uh i don't know how exactly that would work i think that would put you would put stock on an smg and then maybe put lightweight on i don't get how that would work at all really but whatever now it's fixed if you uh we're getting tired of that uh stocks on smgs glitch Shotgun crosshairs will no longer turn red if an enemy is outside the shotgun's maximum damage range. That's a pretty good fix. I like that. Well, it's not really a fix, but that's a change. Um, now you know if you're shooting at someone with a shotgun, if it's red, if the sh uh, crosshair is red, it will damage them. Where if they're a pretty good distance away, you're not going to have to guess if it's, uh, it's going to hit them or not. Fix an issue where bullets will not fire straight immediately after aiming down sight while moving at the same time. I've never seen that happen or I've never noticed it uh, improved turret tracking to eliminate false positives when checking line of sight and now turrets also have smoother tracking when targeting players a little buff to the sentry guns I guess um, <laughs> not too big of a deal though improved bot pathing on multiple maps eh, whatever <laughs> I don't really care uh, a few challenge fixes. Fixed select fire weapons reverting back to their default fire method when using score streaks and not calling them in. Uh, this actually happened to me. If you used if you used a select fire FAL, let's say, had it on full auto, and you pulled out an AGR grenade, the care package grenade, and you switched back to your FAL, it would actually switch back to single fire. So that was kind of annoying, but um, I'm glad they fixed it. Obviously, it was pretty common. Um, more UI fixes, crap like that, 3D fixes, uh, addressed an issue where the stealth helicopter was able to drop below the map in drone, I've never seen that before, um, players are no longer able to get infinite black hats by immediately using another black hat, I've never seen that before either, uh, addressed an issue where a player was able to equip two assault shields at the same time, Players spectating a one in the chamber game no longer earn survivor bonus points. A, spec a player can no longer earn medals for multi kills if they continue to kill quickly after dying and respawning. And various minor map fixes were made across multiple maps. So that was kind of the kind of the kind of the bad. Well, not the bad, but you know, the stuff that no one really cared too much about. You know, me personally, I've never heard of most of these glitches, but that's true for most of a uh, Treyarch balance patches they get on it but it seems like they haven't been fixing as much on this game as they have in black ops 1 but whatever um now for the real good stuff that everyone wants to know about gameplay balancing the score streaks so the death machine uh was buffed its three hit kill range is increased so um it's gonna kill faster longer ranges Dragon fire, the health is increased, but the gun spread was reduced, so you're going to be giving up accuracy for health in this case. Uh, good fix, I guess, even though most of the time when my dragon fire gets destroyed, it's either from an EMP grenade or a black hat, so it's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, AGR, ground speed increased, reduced machine gun close range damage. 
uh, I would consider this an unnecessary buff and nerf. Uh, really, the only thing the AGR needs is increased resistance to uh, EMP grenades. Uh, Warthog, reduced missile delay. I don't know if that's a buff or a nerf, but either way, the Warthog needs to be buffed still because that does not sound like it's too useful. Uh, load start. Reduced missile speed and AoE radius. I'm going to be interested to see how that really affects the Lodestar. I haven't played on this patch yet, um, but it sounds very interesting. The Lodestar was pretty damn good. Definitely more effective than dogs or swarm in my opinion, so that definitely needed the nerf. And then the swarm, the drone respawn delay has been increased. And if you've never used a swarm before, pretty much you get the drones coming in waves. So at, at one time you might get six drones and they get four kills and then you wait like five for six seconds and then you'd get another five or whatever kind of number you get um and they would continue doing that for like 30 seconds or whatever however long it lasts so uh, the delay has been increased so they're going to last longer but you're going to get the same amount of drones it gives enemies more time to run inside i guess perks hardwired players with hardwired are now completely unaffected by emp grenades that is very good I like that. So now I actually have a class that I could go to if people are spamming EMP grenades. Equipment, the trophy system has increased range, whatever. <laughs> I don't really think the trophy system needed to be buffed at all. It does its job pretty well. Uh, SMGs, all SMGs with silencers now have reduced range, so they will not kill as fast at long range, which is very, very good. I like that fix a lot. Granted, I don't know how long the reduced range is I don't know if it fixes it from like medium range but most of the time I don't dive to uh, SMGs with silencers at long range so hopefully that's not just a useless fix that they decided to implement running out of time here uh, all the assault rifles got buffed so all assault rifles got reduced idle sway but some assault rifles also got other buffs so M27 reduced amount of bullets to headshot kill at all ranges, so I'm gonna guess that's one less bullet for a headshot kill. And I have noticed, uh, my friend noticed that this <laughs> M27 has an extremely low headshot damage for some reason. It's like a four shot headshot or some shit like that, I don't know. Um, increase the four hit kill range as well. Type 25, reduced amount of bullets to headshot kill at all ranges, slightly reduced maximum hit fire spread. That is, I don't know if slightly reduced maximum hit fire spread is good or bad. Um, when I think of reduced hip fire spread, it, I would think smaller, but then reduced is negative, so you would make it bigger. I don't know, but scar reduced amount of bullets to headshot kill at all ranges, slightly reduced maximum hip fire spread. Sig five five six penetration increased from medium to large, increased maximum number of bullets to kill at long ranges, and reduced burst delay. Uh, MTAR increased 3 hit kill range, SMR slight increased the damage so that 2 hit kills can still happen with wire penetration, headshot multiplier increased at long distance, foul with select fire increased recoil, foul without anything increased hip spread. So uh, LMGs, ADS in and out time increased, shotguns, M1216 slightly increased short range damage, and pistols, executioner increased medium range damage. So commentary went a bit over pretty much. You can. I don't know. I don't like this patch all too much. It doesn't fit really fix what p I was looking for. It fixed the FAL, which I'm pretty sure we all wanted. Um, but as far as I can tell, they didn't fix the lag. They didn't fix too much of anything, really. Uh, they fixed stuff that people weren't really all too worried about. I'm still waiting for the lag fix and stuff like that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you want to look at the full patch notes by yourself, you can click on the link in the description. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.